Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today video we are going to discuss about DevOps versus GitOps. So these two terms basically are very trending in the market. DevOps is almost I think almost 10 years now and GitOps is also quite few years in market and it's now trending topic. So let's understand both the terms and how they differ from each other. So GitOps versus DevOps. So GitOps and DevOps are two related but distinct approaches to managing and automating software development and deployment process. So GitOps and DevOps basically if you see these are very similar terms but they follow different kind of methodology or different kind of approaches to achieve or to achieve or some kind of task could be automation, deployment or development they follow different kind of methodology or approaches. While they share some common goals and principles, they also have some key differences in their methodology and focus. So uh, basically, uh, if I would say uh, GitOps is mostly for containerization part, like for Kubernetes. We will see all those tools, scopes and a few other things, what the difference in coming slides. So let's move to next slide. So first we will see uh, from DevOps point of view. So it, you can simply see uh, in the, the name itself, it's development and operation. So simple things, collaboration between two teams. So first thing we will see a uh, scope under DevOps. So DevOps is a broader approach that encompasses the entire software development lifecycle from planning and coding to testing, deployment and monitoring and it emphasizes collaboration and communication between development and operation team. So if you if we see the scope of DevOps, it's very wider because there are two teams or like in many organizations there are multiple teams as well which comes under the DevOps itself. So they basically follow like they have two from development side they have to build the code, they have to write the code and the operation sites they have to set up the infrastructure for, to deploy that particular application. So there are a lot of things involved in DevOps. So like coding, deployment, monitoring, all those things are under the DevOps part. Next culture. DevOps is much about culture as it is about tools and practice so as it is like it is much about tools as well but it about culture as well because two teams are collaborating from with, with each other and they are basically minimizing or they are reducing that effort which generally take to build a application it encourages a culture shift where development and operation teams work closely together and breaking down the sloys and sharing responsibilities so this is this is basically it's also a culture where basically two teams or multiple teams are involving to achieve some kind of uh, task or project. Next, automation. So DevOps place a strong emphasis on automation to streamline process and reduce manual intervention. This includes automation for code building, testing and deployment. So as part of automation under DevOps, we use multiple kind of tools like for configuration management and for infrastructure as a code, for CI, CD as separate tools. There are a lot of tools we combine to automate one application as part of DevOps. Now tools. So DevOps use a wide range of tools for automation including CI, CD configuration management tool and monitoring tool which we already discussed. Now infrastructure as a code. So DevOps often involve IAC tools to define and manage infrastructure and which reduce uh, infrastructure resources programmatically and creating infrastructure configuration as a code. Monitoring and feedback. DevOps team focus on monitoring application and infrastructure in production to gather feedback and make continuous improvements. So those all the terms or uh, features we will see under the DevOps because it's a very wider range of uh, approach or culture or scope where we combine a lot of things. Now we will see in terms of GitOps what we have. So we talk about scope, scope first. 
so gitops is subset of devops that specifically focus on the deployment and management of application and infrastructure it is often used for managing cloud native and containerized application so if you see in gitops the scope is very limited like for gitops for example we use a tool called gitlab so whatever you have to implement whatever you have to write everything should be checked in, in a git and everything should be written in a infrastructure at a code format and this approach is basically very helpful when you are using containerization thing like for example kubernetes and another container orchestration tools in that case gitops is very useful source of truth so in gitops the git repository serves as a single source of truth for both application code and infrastructure configuration all changes are version controlled in git so in the simple terms under uh, in the github basically we use a git and in the git we manage all config all kind of configuration like your application source code will be in github your infrastructure code will be in a github and whatever the other things you require to build your application everything will be on a git repo itself so you cannot like uh, basically so whatever the uh, configuration you want for your application everything you have to keep in a git of github itself so for basically gitops we use a gitlab tool we will see a gitlab things in coming uh, videos as well automation with git so gitops relies heavily on git for automation changes to the infrastructure and applications are made by pushing changes to the git repository a gitops operator or tool continuously monitor the repository for changes and apply them to the target environment so what whatever kind of automation you want in under gitops for your application everything you have to do as part of your git repo itself now next next uh, uh, feature we have a uh, declarative configuration so gitops use declarative configuration where desired states are defined in git and systems is it and the systems responsibility is to converse the actual state to match the desired state so if you see uh, in terraform we have a concept called desired state and actual state so same thing here whatever the configuration you have in your git the same resources or same infrastructure which will be created as per the configuration which you have defined next we have a synchronization so gitops tools ensure that the actual state of the system match the desired state declared in git by applying changes automatically if there is a drift the tool correct it so it always synchronize the changes between actual state like where your app, your resources or infrastructure is running so whatever the state is called a uh, actual state and whatever the state or whatever the things you have in your uh, repo that is called a desired state so whatever configuration we have defined it always match the desired state and actual state okay this is the configuration you have specified in a git the same resources should be uh, in a actual state as well next we have a immutable infrastructure so gitops encourage the use of immutable infrastructure pattern where changes are made by replacing entire instance or resources rather than modifying them in place so if you want to modify uh, some kind of resources in your application in your infrastructure then you have to completely replace that resource instead of modifying like if you want to for example uh, if you want to open one of the port then for that basically you have to again run the com entire configuration to make the to reflect the changes so it will basically uh, replace the entire system instead of modifying so it follow gitops follow the immutable infrastructure approach now we will see summary so in summary devops is a holistic approach that cover the entire software development life cycle and involve cultural changes 
where GitOps is a more specialized approach focused on automating application and infrastructure management using Git as the source of truth. So we have already discussed in the previous slides. In DevOps, we follow a lot of things like monitoring, testing, and uh, development, deployment, automations. A lot of things we uh, do in under the DevOps. But GitOps is a subset of DevOps. So it majorly focus on containerized application where it generally focus on automation and infrastructure management. GitOps can be seen as a specific implementation of DevOps principle for managing cloud native and containerized applications. Depending on your organization's need and technology used, you may choose to adopt one or both of the, these approaches to enhance your software development and operation practices. So it's up to you or your uh, as per your requirement, you can either choose both of the things like DevOps plus GitOps simultaneously. And if you are if you have cloud native things or can most more things on a Kubernetes side, Kubernetes side, then GitOps is also a very useful tool which you can adopt for your organization. So I hope it's clear the difference between DevOps and GitOps. So thank you so much. See you next video. If you like the video, do like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.